Hey Scorpios, welcome to my YouTube channel. Revolution. I'm so happy to have such a great response from all of you on my channel and um, it's been overwhelming and I'm so happy that you know the readings have been relating with all of you guys. Uh, make sure you are subscribing to my channel if you are new here uh, as I will be doing your monthly readings here uh, on a regular basis. Yeah. And they will be releasing uh, at the beginning of each month for that same month, okay? So, uh, also, Scorpio, I just wanted to say that I won't be available for private readings uh, from 2nd to 13 December as I will be gone for Vipassana, which is a meditation retreat and um, uh, the retreat that, uh, you know, deals with meditation of more than 10 hours per day with minimum food, okay? And uh, this is something that I have been aspiring to do as a as a spiritualist and as a person who wants to upgrade herself uh, immensely. Okay, so that's what I want to do, and I'm sure that as soon as I have the experience, I will come back and I will share it with all of you guys as to how my experience was on a day to day basis, and how they uh, treat you, and you know what did i experience personally okay i will definitely tell you that on my channel as i've started this during the pandemic and i'm so glad that i did i'm so happy that i did this is something i'm really passionate about okay so yes i had to share this with you guys because um, i have a special connection with scorpio uh, internally personally okay uh, even in my personal life i have a lot of scorpios around me so i really understand this energy or on a core level and uh, yeah i deeply uh, love to connect with you guys okay so yes okay so yeah enough with the deep talks yeah scorpio loves going deep with the talk so i'm i'm gonna uh, tell you about the downloads that i got when i was meditating on your energy scorpio the download that i got was number one someone wants to insult you or vice versa based on a judgment that you have about them okay so this is either this is someone who wants to insult you or this is you wanting to insult someone based on a judgment that you have within you or based on the judgment they have within themselves about you okay and uh, yeah this is something relating to a very old trauma that you have gone through this could be something uh, between uh, your family okay uh, this could be your parents that you have some very dark uh, mm, resentment towards, okay? And you're letting go of that, okay? You're letting go of that. But somewhere it's like in December, it's kind of coming up to the surface, okay? Uh, we almost went through your season uh, last month, okay? Like we went through your season. It was Scorpio season. So uh, I'm sure there might have been some circumstance that is bringing this up, okay? in the month of December all right so that is number one number two you might be craving spicy food so uh, yeah don't overeat on the spicy food okay if there are a lot of uh, Indian Scorpio who was watching me you might be craving like having a lot of spicy food so but don't overdo it though like that's that's only going to create problems okay all right so number three you might be studying sacred geometry okay you might be studying those uh, diagrams that you have you know of mandalas you know uh, in my soul's journey deck you see those mandalas right so there are meanings to all those mandalas and you might be studying them like you know maybe seeing the formulas to how you make them you create them maybe you're making sacred geometry art or mandala art or maybe uh, some kind of clothing on that or some unique idea okay that you have within your mind about that you're studying it okay all right since you guys like like to dig deep into the mysteries and stuff right uh, scorpio so yeah uh number four you will be looking for a new job opportunity as you are unhappy with the current or you don't have any so currently you don't have any job maybe you are suffering within the pandemic and you don't have any job right now so uh and you're unhappy because of that okay so you are looking for a new job opportunity in december um it could also be that you are unhappy with your current job that you are in so you want to switch jobs or you want to be a sole entrepreneur that is also possible okay so take it how it relates 
number fifth uh, uh number five the download that i got the fifth download that i got was uh color red will be very very lucky for you in the month of december so wear that shit okay that's how i wrote it <laughs> wear that stuff okay so color red will be very lucky for you um yeah um especially those burgundy colors you know scorpio you guys i'm sure you guys love that color as well so just go ahead and dive deep into it okay whatever if you have a meeting if you have an interview whatever it is just wear that red okay red in whatever form all right uh number six the download that i got is uh herbs okay you might be studying about herbs and their uses and benefits okay so there might be some kind of uh, studies that you are doing on like the alchemy and herbs and how to uh, create elixirs or uh, you know things like that okay you might be getting into that all right i'll be sipping my uh, uh, black coffee while i'm doing your reading so yes okay all right scorpios let's dive into your reading this is the soul's journey deck that i will be using and uh, if you're studying mandalas and yeah there's a lot of mandalas in this as well okay different kind of mandalas though and interesting that uh, courage in the bottom of the deck with success mm. so you are needing to have the courage to be successful in this world scorpio yeah this wanted to fall out service like i was saying you are looking for a job opportunity or something relating to that right so the service card just like dropped out of the deck so yeah i feel good when i can help others so this is something that you're looking out for this is something that you want to do you want to help others it could be through herbs it could be through mandala sacred geometry it could be through your own profession whatever it is that you do okay you want to help others tell me about scorpio what's coming up for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node and scorpios please check out uh, the description box for uh, in case you feel like uh, donating to this channel and feel generous enough to do so to help this channel grow that would be really really nice of you uh, also you can check out my amazon wish list which i have given below you can give me a deck that will make these readings quite interesting you know more interesting than they are now uh, you know because i am all about self improvement right so yeah i would love to read for you guys all right So let's see, and also make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Also, guys, yeah. What's coming up for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in the month of December. What's coming up for Scorpio? I'm also getting that somebody insulted the way you. Uh, I don't know. Somebody insulted. how you may about your money situation you feel insulted or threatened about your money situation that's what i'm feeling like somebody has challenged you on a financial level okay and during this pandemic this is happening a lot like a lot of people are in that weird spell of like insulting others and demeaning others because you know because they are at pow power and there's this power dynamic issue going on scorpio plus venus is in scorpio right now as i'm shooting this video and sun was in scorpio mercury was in scorpio in uh, in november december it will all go into sag okay so yeah you will be looking forward into expanding yourself tell me about uh, scorpio please what's coming up for scorpio in the month of december ooh what is that is that love empathy I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Ooh, Scorpio. So yes, it's like uh, you are having to practice empathy in the face of uh, someone who really really tried to I don't know humiliate you in some way financially or Okay, this is heavy. Like uh, I feel like you all you wanted to do was to be of help to someone to assist someone maybe you are an assistant under somebody and your boss really gave it to you in in a, in, in the wrong way yeah look at your energy red i told you red color is lucky for you right death this is your card i am learning that endings are merely beginnings you guys are all about this okay you guys are all about endings and new beginnings here okay 
and through that you are showing your discipline okay so yeah i'll take four cards for you guys but uh, this is all about uh, scorpio that people around you do not believe that you can serve others the way you have passion towards it okay people think that no uh, scorpio is not at all capable of having empathy towards people scorpio is not able to serve others in the way they want to okay and somewhere there it's like a kind of a jealous vibe that i'm getting from that person that you know you should not go above and beyond their capabilities you should remain in a certain criteria where they can control you and they can judge you and they can criticize you okay and you are learning that uh, you are trying to move forward with empathy within your heart that you know i understand that this person is this way okay and uh, you're trying to uh, grasp that you know this person has some power and control issues within them okay and uh, yeah you are ending that situation by realizing that this person is kind of under a spell of their own okay of their own making and you are learning that you know you need to end this and you need to have a certain discipline in your relationships because at times scorpio you can also go extreme within your energy you are a water sign right so uh, and that to your fixed water so you want uh, like honesty stability loyalty but at the same time your energy itself is so transformative that you entering another person's life causes a sudden change like people transform just by your presence scorpio you need to realize that that is your energy and that is this okay with the lucky color color red that i saw for you please do wear that for any interview that will help you okay all right let's dive deeper now and see what it is that you're dealing with i also keep your downloads page open in case it relates with the messages okay yeah so yeah with the sacred geometry of course i showed you the cards so if they mean anything to you then they uh, definitely study them uh yeah all right now i'm going to take the tarot of dreams deck okay this is the deck the link is in the description if you want to buy this deck okay so let's dive into your past present and future energy now scorpio okay let's see who is this person what is their problem in life okay why can't they mind their own business <laughs> let's see so tell me about scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node in the past what is scorpio bringing from the past in the month of december lovers okay so yeah i feel that there is a choice there is an option that you have to take a decision that you have to make maybe this could be between two lovers or this could be a gemini that you're dealing with okay okay and this person uh, yeah you have to make a choice between two lovers that is also another case scenario this could be between two jobs as well two different kinds of Uh, service sectors that you are really fond of, but you're confused between which one to choose. Okay, but this is also a higher understanding in love. This is a relationship where you both understand each other on a soul level. Okay, this is like you feeling whatever you feel about this person. This person feels. Sorry, my mic fell. This person feels the same way about you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing in the past with the lovers' energy. Tell me about the past energy that Scorpio is dealing with in the month of December. Okay, three of cups in reverse. Yeah, so this is uh, either you did not want to reconcile with this person, Scorpio, or this person did not want to reconcile with you. Okay, it could go vice versa, but I feel that you did not want to go back to them. Okay, and it's because uh, you know uh, this person kind of. Uh, didn't make you feel like you know you are celebrated within this dynamic this person made you feel like you know completely left out emotionally and not reciprocating to you emotionally the way you wanted them to okay you wanted them to be a certain way scorpio and uh, they turned out to be a little different than your expectations okay and uh, somewhere they emotionally did not fulfill you okay the way you wanted them to so that might have caused a little bit of uh, 
that vibe where you know I want to insult them because they did this to me or you know that person might have thought that you know that just because you are disconnecting you know that person wants to insult you in that way okay because of that rage within you or within them okay so let's see the present energy that you are dealing with okay because in the past you do not want to reconcile with this person this could be a strong Gemini okay present energy please tell me about present energy in the month of December what is Scorpio dealing with Ooh, okay so eight of coins in reverse yeah so in the present energy uh, Scorpio I feel like you don't want to uh, work on this connection okay seven of cups yes so I feel like this is your energy okay this is Scorpionic energy uh, I feel like you are uh, definitely you have a lot of options okay when it comes to relationships and when it comes to emotional connections this could be a psychic connection that you have with this person okay uh, with this Gemini okay but other than that you feel that this person does not want to work on this connection at all and you are having to understand that their perspective based on what they are telling you you know maybe they are completely not telling you anything not giving you any emotional validation based on uh, how they feel about you how they think about you okay um, and they might be uh, also going through their own emotional turmoils okay is what I'm feeling here and sensing here but uh, yeah they don't want to physically work on things with you okay so yeah because they are not uh, ready to do that work towards you okay you are choosing to go with you know different options in your life like what can I do who can I choose okay you are a little bit confused in the month of December okay and uh, it is a little difficult for you to have empathy for this person because this person kind of insulted you in a way and uh, then didn't, did not reciprocate back to you the energy that you gave them so it kind of uh, made you feel a little bit humiliated okay this could be vice versa Scorpio you might have done this to someone and someone else feels like this about you okay so just take it out relates with you in your situation but uh, yeah I feel that uh, yeah now you are exploring your options in the month of december like mm, what about this or what about that let's try this okay so you're trying to understand what it is that you know you really really care about the most and what you want in your life especially when it comes to your emotions okay tell me about the last half of uh, december for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node please Scorpio, please make sure you're checking your North Node, huh? Because uh, my readings are all about like your destiny, purpose, goals, okay? So check that out. Uh -huh. Descri uh, it's all given in the description box how to check your North Node sign, your uh, Moon sign, your Venus is all about love. So if you see your Venus readings, then those will relate to your love, okay? Alright, ooh! Libra, justice. You might be dealing with a Libra or you have Libra somewhere in your chart or your person might have Libra and Gemini in their chart okay but uh, yeah or Virgo as well but uh, yeah this is about any kind of imbalance that this person got into your life okay if this is some kind of a legal contract okay which was unfair if there was an unfair situation that you were dealing with where the legal contract was done in an unfair situation the justice is on your side okay and you are learning that you know this situation with this person with this Gemini needs to end you need to completely transform this end this situation and begin fresh again in your life okay because you guys are all about deaths and new beginnings okay Scorpio rules uh, death okay so yeah, any kind of injustice done towards you is going to be repaid back because this is all about karmic justice, okay, and balancing the scales. This is a law of karma, you know. So tell me about the last half of December, please. Any kind of confusion emotionally that you were going through, you are going to uh, get the truth about it by the end of uh, December and you're going to realize that, you know what it is that you really really want in your life beautiful with the empress wow you are upgrading to an empress status here um scorpio this is you saying that you know any form of injustice i'm not going to tolerate it i'm not going to be an option in anyone else's life if you are confused if you don't want to work on this relationship with me that's okay with me 
I'm I'm going to get what it is that I deserve because I know what it is that I deserve. Okay, this could be a strong Libra that you're dealing with. This could be an uh, a North Node in Libra or uh, a Moon in Libra person that you're dealing with. Okay, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling that you are upgrading yourself. Okay, and you are saying that uh, listen, this is not what I want anymore. Okay. By the last half of December, if you don't want to get pregnant, please uh, be careful, okay? You might be very fertile. But at the same time, this is about uh, also any legal contracts that have been unjustly made. And, you know, you are getting the short end of the stick, okay? Justice is on your side here, Scorpio. Okay? Justice is on your side here, period, okay? And my, like, I just heard, heard some ringing in my left ear, so, yeah, that's a confirmation. All right, beautiful. So, all right. Let's see. Now let's dive deeper, Scorpio. I'm not gonna uh, do. I'm not gonna like go in depth of the discipline card because it's obvious that you know you are trying to focus on your own discipline within your energy. Okay, you are a water sign, so sometimes you have that fluidity within you to. Uh, overgive yourself okay towards the other person but Scorpio as a fixed water sign I feel that you're realizing that transformation is your power transformation is how you change other people but at the same time you change yourself okay you like to have power over situations but at times you are you can deal with people who bring in that same energy okay towards you in order to show you your own shadow side People with a lot of power and control will come towards you in order to mirror you and show you that, you know, this is who you're dealing with and that a person exactly is mirroring your own shadow, okay, that you need to heal. That is a part of you that you need to heal, okay? All right, all right. So I'm going to dive deeper now with the uh, Witch's Tarot. Let's see. What's going on with my Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Nodes. Okay. Alright. So, please tell me about the lovers in the past for Scorpio. What is this lovers in the past for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Nodes. What is this lovers for Scorpio in the past that is bleeding into the present moment for Scorpio? Six of Cups. This is your energy. Beautiful. So yeah, this is uh, a connection that really, really made you feel... Uh, oh, this made you feel very familiar, okay? This made you feel very childlike, very like, you know, you are back into your childhood and you had fun with them you flirted with them you enjoyed with them okay this is a lot of emotional reciprocation here okay scorpio so uh, you had this kind of a connection with this gemini is what i'm feeling tell me about this lovers this could be a childhood connection this could be a family member of yours okay who you maybe you are a relative of okay you grew up together Okay, this is the card that wants to come out. High Priestess. Ooh. So yeah, this person that you have a connection with, okay, this person completely went ghost on you. Like, it's like they secretly love you, Scorpio. What the hell? Okay, that's interesting. Let me sip my tea. <laughs> So in the past, they secretly love you, but they, they, they are not revealing it because uh, they, they are very mysterious and very much like, um, like they, they like to keep things hidden because, uh, you know, they are high priestess uh, as an energy is a very, very powerful energy, Scorpio. Uh, it's someone who is very mysterious, very uh, into their own spiritual arts, okay? They might be into astrology, tarot, things like that, but... Uh, this person uh, secretly has feelings for you, okay? And uh, hence, they did not reciprocate to you and not did not tell you about their emotional uh, feelings, okay? Tell me about the Three of Cups. 
This could also be a secret relationship between you and them, okay? There could be some secrets between this relationship. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah. This could also be you having an option, okay? Between two people, Scorpio. Like, there's one who is very mysterious and very alluring to you. One who is a childhood sweetheart. Strength in reverse. I thought my mic fell, but it didn't, yeah. Strength in reverse. So, yes, like I was saying, you know, this... Uh, this dynamic between you and this person is having uh, you, you know, in a frenzy because there's a lot of power and control issues within this dynamic, okay, where uh, I'm seeing that this person feels like they're losing, uh, like they're unleashing their inner demons when they're with you. What? Damn, Scorpio. Where are we going with this reading? <laughs> Okay, so they feel like uh, they don't want to, if, if this isn't work this situation, then yeah, they feel like, you know, that you are more powerful than them and they feel like powerless in front of you. I don't know what this is all about, but, and they want to lash out at you. They, they feel like lashing out at you, Scorpio. Tell me about the three of cups in reverse. Wow, that's, that's pretty deep and mysterious. Okay, tell me about the three of cups in reverse. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Ooh, lovers in reverse. Yeah, this dynamic got very much out of hand. Okay, because there was no equal given, uh, giving and receiving within this connection is what I'm feeling. Okay, like there was no equal uh, give and take within this connection, and uh, even though this is uh, lovers is all about you know having the same feelings for each other. This completely went south because uh, this person is very, very mysterious. Like extremely mysterious is what I'm feeling. Uh, because they don't want to uh, give their power away to anybody else, okay? This might be some something that you also personally deal with, Scorpio. Like this might be you. This could be you as well, being extremely secretive towards this person, this Gemini, okay? Because you don't want to give your power away anymore like you have. Uh, realized enough in the past okay so you've gone through some major lessons okay so yeah this is like completely imbalanced okay this is what i'm seeing in the past with no emotional reciprocation and uh, intense like uh, power dynamic issues and lashing out and things like that that rage that i was getting that insult and humiliation okay regarding work and things like that okay that is also one aspect wow so many things coming in for you scorpio Okay, now let's dive into the present moment. So this is the past, okay? This is something that is already within your energy. So this is causing you to kind of uh, give up on your work life, on your work situation because they have poked at your self-esteem in some way, okay? Or this could be vice versa. You could have done this to them and they are feeling like that, okay? So take it how it relates. But then because of that, you are very, very confused, okay? Tell me about the eight of coins in reverse, please. In the present moment, in the month of December, present is the uh, middle, uh, the middle part of December. Tell me about the eight of coins in reverse for Scorpio. Tell me about the eight of coins in reverse for Scorpio. Four of cups. Yes. So I feel that Scorpio, you know, uh, you can, you kind of lost interest within this relationship. Okay. You completely lost interest within this connection because, you know, you are like, you know, this person is kind of overdoing it a little bit is what you are thinking, okay? And you're like completely dissatisfied because you're not getting that emotional validation that you need from this person, okay? Tell me about the eight of coins in reverse. Guys, this could go vice versa. I feel like a lot of cross watchers are watching this reading as well. So make sure that, uh, okay, you're not confusing yourself. Just fit yourself in the role that is I'm saying, okay? You could be the Scorpio that I'm talking about as well, the cross watcher. Like if, if you have Gemini in your chart and you're a cross watcher, you might be in the position of Scorpio as well in this reading, okay? Where mm -hmm. you are like bored and dissatisfied, okay? All right, let's see. Eight of coins in reverse, please. In the present moment in the month of December. Ooh, ten of coins in reverse. So Scorpio, this is like you are so utterly bored because 
of a really unfair situation that is happening within your home environment within your family life within your family dynamic where you know uh, maybe you're getting the short end of the stick okay so you don't want to work it out anymore with this person okay because this person is acting out of major major uh, control issues within themselves okay they're keeping things a secret they're not letting out what they feel what they want okay with you uh, this could be a family issue as well also okay and uh, yeah so it's like you're making a decision based on that in the month of uh, December like I've realized that this person does not want to work it out at all with me and they have completely created an unfair situation with me and I'm so utterly dissatisfied with this person that I'm making a decision of completely ghosting them that's what you are doing you're ghosting them completely okay that's what I'm getting here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and not not. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Hermit in Reverse. Yeah, you're you're finally you are taking a decision of you know. Uh, this is you you had to like you know take a, a lot like you probably were completely isolated for a long time but now you're coming out okay of that shell you're coming out of that shell and you're trying to mingle with more people you're trying to talk to more people here okay and not focusing on this one person okay because Scorpio sometimes you can be so intense that you might focus on this one thing and you might go so deep into that that you know you forget about the rest of the world okay and you are so passionate about it I understand that energy okay so yeah you're coming out of that energy you're coming out of that kind of like uh, vibe where you know with the control and power power struggles with this person and trying to uh, see what are your options here what options do you have okay and emotionally opening yourself up towards them tell me about seven of cups Tell me about Seven of Cups for Scorpio, please. Like, it's hard to see... Uh, for you, it's hard to see both sides of the situation anymore because I'm sure you tried with this person. I'm sure you tried empathizing with this person and understanding their point of view. But yeah, Five of Pentacles in reverse. But it did not work out. It did not work out. They don't want to understand. They don't want to be on the same page with you. Okay, they are creating an injustice within your life okay because they feel like if you take their power away they'll be powerless and that you know um uh, yeah they have a fear of abandonment as well you know that they you will leave them alone that's also what i'm feeling here but uh yeah this is something like uh you're coming out of the cold out of your shell okay and you are also uh you don't want to be alone anymore like you don't want to um like just focus on this one person you know in order to have this connection and you want to explore your options now okay yeah this person definitely left you out in the cold without any reason any you know I, yeah weird person seriously though I'm not giving you any reason for why they don't want to have this equal relationship with you no reason at all but Scorpio yeah I mean that's your sign you have to deal with these kind of issues right this is your own shadows let's see now let's see what is the justice what is the last half of December that Scorpio is dealing with tell me about justice please this is beautiful karmic balance that is happening Scorpio for you okay you might have Libra in your chart or you might be dealing with one or Taurus as well ace of pentacles wow this is a financial opportunity that is being granted to you in the last half of december okay this is a brand new opportunity this is something that will solve all your problems this is something that is going to give you a lot of peace harmony and balance in your life okay this is a brand new opportunity that you are beginning with someone okay this is someone who you see as who you really respect as a person Okay, this could be that same person as well, okay, in the past, or, or I don't know, let's see. But no, I, I feel that I'm learning, yeah, so you're giving death to that old situation, okay? You're completely ending that situation. Let's see, what is this justice all about? So the karmic balance that you're receiving is that, you know, even if this person is not ready to give you what you want, you're receiving a brand new opportunity, devoid of them, like you don't need them also. 
you don't need them as well in order to uh, grow in your life tell me about the justice five of cups scorpio are they mad about you receiving this opportunity this is some form of a jealous family member okay i feel some libra this could be but they are very jealous of you and they are just upset about the fact that you received a new opportunity or whatever but uh, wow what the hell like that suddenly changed so i feel like uh, either this person has a very uh, dark side okay scorpio where they don't want you to be financially independent at all like they just want you to be reliant upon them in some way okay either that or this is uh, this is some form of opportunity that is still not making you happy okay scorpio this might be you want being a little bit greedy on the opportunity side okay this might be you also when you get a new opportunity you might be like very upset about the fact that you don't have that old person with you anymore okay so okay this might be you missing that person okay like you wanted to share that abundance with them my god scorpio 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 my full moon uh, there's a gemini full moon coming up on 31st of uh, november so yeah i'm having like a lot of perspectives okay in my mind right now it's full moon in my own sign okay so hence i'm like Uh, giving you all these alternate uh, perspectives on the reading okay but yeah these are all the possibilities that are possible with these combinations so let's see last half of december for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node tell me about the empress please it's like you want this person as your empress two of cups in reverse yeah this is three of cups This is about not being able to reconcile, even though you have a brand new opportunity with you. It's like you are grieving and brooding about the past. Tell me about the Empress, please. Tell me about the Empress. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Yes, Seven of Cups in Reverse. This is you gaining emotional clarity. Okay, this is. Uh, Okay the last half of December is extremely crucial for you extremely emotional for you you might be having a breakdown moment with someone okay you might be crying with someone okay this might be something where you realize that you know uh maybe it's the partner that if you are married to someone scorpio it's like you realize that you know this connection is something that is uh, not at all feasible for you in your life okay you might break up with this person like divorce this person completely okay and if you're filing for divorce in the last half of uh december it's going to go in your favor of course okay but uh, you might be okay this might also be that you are uh, paying for the divorce uh, uh, fees and things like that and you're losing money on that hence you're feeling a little bit drained okay and uh, you're regretting the fact that you had to go through this uh, person's uh, emotional turmoils and power and control issues okay where they wanted to dominate and control you and insult you based on um, how you made a living or how you conducted yourself as a person or how intense or passionate you were okay too many judgments and too too critical about you is what i'm feeling this person was okay but you're also having emotional clarity on what you want to do and the emotional clarity is that you want to um you don't want to settle as of now you don't want any kind of marriage or commitment or you're kind of running away from commitment as of now is what i'm feeling okay you want to take things uh, in a different way this time you don't want to be conventional and the way society tells you to do things no no you are you are taking it a dif- taking a different step this time and you are having a lot of emotional clarity by the end of december okay because in the uh, middle of december you were very confused because you know this person was giving you a lack of wanting to work things out with you kind of energy but now it's like you know you you became so dissatisfied with it that you know you realize that this person has put you through so much agony and pain regarding your money and this unfair and unbalanced situation that you know somewhere you know you are expecting the worst 
Scorpio that you will never receive it and even when you receive a brand new opportunity you feel like it's going to be a failure so please don't do that Scorpio please rise up you are the phoenix of the zodiac you are supposed to rise up from these difficulties and rise like a phoenix okay that's what I want you to do I want you to focus on that also please make a gratitude journal please write the top 10 things that have happened to you during 2020 that have been very beneficial towards you um, have been uh, that's something that you are very grateful for okay please write that down please do okay that will really help you because there's a lot of emotional turmoil that's going on in this reading is what i'm feeling okay a lot of emotional turmoil and physical as well okay physical changes also all right my lovelies now i'm going to i forgot this reading well it just took me by storm scorpio honestly what i'm supposed to do next like i'm i'm also like in no man's land <laughs> all right so but no issues you're gonna deal with this beautifully i know my scorpios are like that okay so all right now i'm gonna pull from the wisdom of the oracle deck okay link is in the description below if you want to buy it for yourself buy it from my link so that my channel is also assisted by your uh, purchase yeah all right so let's see let's see one advice for you i shuffle these a lot of times before your reading scorpio so um give me an advice pertaining to the spread for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north moon Give me an advice for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node pertaining to this spread, please. Give me an advice for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node pertaining to this spread. Ooh, oh, look at that, Scorpio. Just bask in that energy, wow. You're going towards your happy, happy. And look at you, you're, you're, you're literally on flame, right? You're on flame, you're burning, you're so passionate, you're so desirable, Scorpio, come on, I mean, nobody can beat you at that, nobody can beat you at your sexiness, right? And there is someone, you know, there's someone who really, really is fond of you, Scorpio, really fond of you, okay? So don't forget the people who are supporting you through this, don't forget them, right? We usually forget them. Please write the grateful, uh, what you're grateful for, for 2020, okay? Please do that journaling. Beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, I have chaos and conflict, okay? So yes, you're going through a transformation, but you, it's leading you towards your happy, happy. What else do you want, Scorpios? All right, let's see. Let's see, my babies. All right. Ah, all right, six, all right, 26th of uh, December will be very significant for you, so please mark that date in your Google Calendar. 26th. Essential meanings, joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. The Oracle's message. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You are free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation, liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment, for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with Spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for the now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. Aww, beautiful. Relationship message. There are moments in a relationship when you just feel good about whom you are with and you know that your heart is wide open. To befriend, to love, and to care for another without wanting anything in return. This is the kind of happy that you just want to share. 
right so this is talking about unconditional love scorpio don't try to mold somebody right be be within your energy and try to accept what's happening what spirit is throwing at you like at, like those curve balls that they're throwing at you right the appearance of this card in a reading tells you that joy and contentment are here now and not somewhere else or off in the future the grass is greenest right where you stand be grateful and delight in your relationship and if you're seeking one be happy now happiness attracts more of it like happiness attracts more of itself like bees to honey right so look at that mood you got to be in that mood scorpio yes whatever makes you happy listen to some music some jazz i love jazz personally listen to some jazz listen to some have some wine sometimes you know just relax yourself okay don't go through uh, don't don't uh, be so affected by it okay just chill out okay yes prosperity message this is a time to take pride in your accomplishments you are doing good work providing exceptional service and are well compensated for it the world rains gratitude upon you and you are happy with the results of your efforts and creativity isn't it amazing to consider all that you have done remember that your partnership with spirit in this moment too your soul has always known you could accomplish anything if it brought you joy so scorpio it has to be something that brings you joy otherwise there is no contentment no happiness okay so you need to figure out exactly what it is that brings you this this is how you need to feel about your passion and about your purpose in life and what you're doing and also 26th please mark the date okay 26th uh protection message lighten up because this is the time to be ridiculous and silly see the world through the eyes of a clown and don't take yourself or any situation right now too seriously have fun be playful and make laughter the order of the day you will be surprised by how everything just seems to fall into place when humor leads i'm so sorry scorpio the video got over but uh, because of the storage issues but yeah being happy and light hearted is a wonderful ice breaker life is meant for play as well as work for laughter as well as tears for celebration as well as focus right you guys rule the extremes of emotions right so spirit wants to sparkle through you today smile and enjoy each breath and each moment miracles lie in the silly things today so yes this is how you need to be silly okay scorpio all right beautiful uh now one last thing i know the readings are getting quite long but uh, i'm going to vipassana so i want to do as much as possible for you guys before i leave this is the crystal bible that i will be pulling from a crystal for you that you can buy which will help you in this situation with your family okay with people plotting behind your back trying to sabotage your own uh right and your own happiness okay all right let's see i'm going to pick a random page here I don't know how to pronounce that. Sharoite, Sharoite. Okay. Just take a screenshot of this. Okay. Sharoite. It's purple in color. Wow, Scorpios love purple, don't you guys? Don't you guys? I know you guys. Okay. So, attributes. Sharoite is a stone of transformation. It is the soul stone that overcomes fear. Sharoite. stimulates inner vision and spiritual insight and aids in coping with enormous change at a spiritual level to facilitate this it synthesizes the heart and crown chakras cleanses the aura and stimulates unconditional love like i was telling you unconditional love with the empathy right yes sharoite encourages vibrational change and links to higher realities at the same time it provides deep physical and emotional healing it helps you to accept the present moment as perfect right present moment with the with the happy happy psychologically sharoite integrates negative qualities and facilitates acceptance of others it releases deep fears and is particularly useful for overcoming resistance or putting things into perspective it bestows drive vigor and spontaneity and is able to reduce stress and worry bringing about a relaxed attitude sharoite can be used to overcome compulsions and obsessions by balancing the crown chakra it assists in overcoming a sense of alienation or frustration okay 
so yeah with obsession compulsion and a sense of alienation and frustration definitely scorpio get this get this crystal get this damn crystal okay mentally shadowite stimulates perceptive observations and analysis and applies these to facilitate a fast decision it helps anyone who is driven by other people's thoughts and programs rather than their own so scorpio if you have a lot of pisces influence in your chart get this because you know sometimes you might get influenced by other people's decisions and opinions so get shadowite it will help you to take your own decision fast without any needing anybody else's uh, guidance okay regarding your stuff spiritually shadowite grounds the spiritual self into everyday reality it encourages a path of service to humanity service right i was telling you you want to help others this stone opens and balances the crown chakra it can bring insightful visions of past lives and suggest ways to re redress karma on a personal and collective level wow scorpio i think many of you are light workers who are watching my channel and you guys want to step into it okay please do it get this stone this will really help you all right healing Shadowite transmutes negative energy into healing and converts disease into wellness. It re-energizes the body when exhausted, heals and integrates dualities and regulates blood pressure. Shadowite treats the eyes, heart, liver and pancreas. It reverses liver damage due to alcohol and alleviates cramps, aches and pains. Shadowite bestows deep sleep with powerful dreams. overcomes insomnia and gives children calm sleep it is helpful where dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system is affecting the heart so if any of you have any heart problems it is very important for you to get this because this will heal those issues if you have insomnia you can't sleep at night get this keep it you can keep it beside your bed also right and it heals your nervous system and your heart if you're very like restless and you know get this it will heal you shadowite heals autism and bipolar disorder so uh, you know if you have this bipolar uh, energy within you where you know you cannot take a decision and you always have this polarities within you like either you will decide one thing and then next day you have a a different decision then please get it okay this will help you position over heart or placed as appropriate in contact with the skin so you can place it over your heart as you meditate like lie down and meditate and place it on your heart while meditating or you can gridding uh, uh, it's written gridding with shadowite is highly effective i don't know what gridding is guys you can research about it i'm sure you guys will dive deep into it if you guys are interested gem elixir is an excellent cleanser for the physical body and stabilizer for emotional turmoil right so you are done with all the emotional turmoil now shadowite is going to help you with that okay this is a purple stone beautiful it looks get this Okay my loves so this related with your situation as well i'm happy to serve you all and uh, i hope you find the right purpose that makes you happy happy okay and uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, i'm going to share my vipassana meditation experience with you as well once i'm back and uh, please donate to the channel if you feel generous enough and uh, yes please hit the thumbs up guys hit the thumbs up button okay next month i'm going to see which video has the most uh, views i'm definitely going to see that so make sure you guys are sharing the video as much as possible as well okay so love you guys and take care and peace thank you bye bye